Howdy folks, coming to you from the edit again, this is the second video I wanted to shoot today. Um, you'll notice the echo, pretty heavy, right here. Um, still trying to figure out exactly where the old miners lost the surface vein and picked up the second vein that they ran all the way through. Um, I think it's right here. We're at uh, 225 foot mark. Uh, the rock type changes here. Uh, we'll look at that here in a second. But the mine also shifts. It runs from here on to the back in about 155 degrees, give or take, um, to the, I love that echo, uh, runs about 155, about 155 degrees is what the, the uh, bearing of it. Uh, let's look at the rock though. Uh, got a lot of this andesite rhyolite. Nothing really exciting. We got that little bitty quartz vein around through here. It's got some copper staining in it. And there's the quartz coming back around. Now trust me when I say it's not that yellow. It's not even remotely that yellow. My camera's just doing stuff. And you can just look there at the contact zone in the hanging wall, which is on the right side of your screen right now. And bring down to those veins. It picks up here again a little bit. And this is the really sketchy part. We have a lot of fault gouge. Uh, see, the echoes are going away right now. There's no more echo. Well, a little bit. But here we got a lot of fault gouge. Ground just is all ground up, but we pick up the limonite again. Don't mind that yellow spot that's took a sample there today. Or no, that was last week. Anyway, this is just a kind of a transition spot. And then you pick up that rhyolite dike again here in the ceiling. It comes in there and kind of pockets out. I think this one's got. So we got and all those little black specks on there are all cricket poop because crickets don't care. No, there's nothing here. This looks all barren. Let's go back around and out. We're going to head towards the portal. But yeah, look at that. Rock changes. We got gouge on the bottom down here. They kind of Cut a lot of it out. All that spotting is just crap, bad crap probably. That's the bottom of the fault gouge. We're passing 225. We're back into back into some heavy stuff again. As far as limonite, this is damn spot that he was picking at that has all the. This has the chalcanthite. Let's gonna get a good close up of the crystals in there. Without blowing it out. See all that kind of weave woven stuff in there? That's all crystals in there. Right there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Chalcanthite. That's leached. Little blue specks. One of the more poisonous minerals there are. But I gotta turn my light on one too high. Let's go back out. It shifts here again a little bit. Rock, a little echoey again. Passing 200 feet right here at 200 foot. It's running at 150 degrees, not 155. So I think somewhere between 150 and 200 when they started to lose it. Because here again, fault gouge. It's got mineralization in it. All through it. You can see that limonite up there. Darker limonite. But this is all fault gouge. All rock that looks like calcium or limestone hell it might be but i think it's more fault gouge than anything go back out passing 175 all right 175 here if you look back the mine turns at 175 we're still running at 170 degrees so it takes about a 15 degree turn between here and 200 it cracks over like you can see it it breaks over to the right so we're at one, we're in 170. We got one more measurement in here somewhere. This is 165. That's where I took a sample 165A. Cricket. Hey, little cricket. All right, little buddy. I'm passing 150. This is where I think the surface vein is still had it. Um, checked it right here. It's still 170 degrees, which is about what it looks like on the surface. This is the uh, hanging wall side. So I think this is from here. Uh, oh man, 
right now. I'm probably at 145. 145 to 170, somewhere in there is where they lost it. They went the other direction. They broke. They went that way, and the surface vein goes this way. So we've got two different vein systems they intersected. But the rock on either side looks good. I mean, there's no crossover in the ceiling of the vein. I think they just hit an intersection point. They hit an intersection point up there. And they didn't know that they lost one. Just went. I mean, who cares, really, if you're tagging out tons and tons of ore that's grading high. I mean, you're going to go ahead and follow what follows. Anyway, it's pretty dusty in here for my sampling today. I've been wearing my mask all day, and it's, the filter don't look disgusting. I mean, they're just all brown. Can you see it? Yeah, I see that brown? That's just lovely. Next to the white on the rim, that's the same filter. It just uh, doesn't get through that, so a lot of dust in here. So I'm going to put that back on, and I'm going to crawl my happy butt out of here. Later, y'all.